I think the first bit is about uh, design for change as, um, I think it's global footprint, right? And, and, and that means that uh, a lot of it over the five years has grown inorganically. It's grown just because people were infected by the resonance of what this, the spirit of design for change brought to its children and how they wanted to reimagine what uh, um, the capacities and capabilities of children are. But because it grew inorganically, a lot of it, a lot of the partners that joined in uh, to the conversation were actually um, just um, either they were individuals uh, that were that were excited about the idea, some were uh, teachers, some were organizations. So the profile of the partners is so varied. That means their needs are so varied, right? Um, and in keeping with the spirit of the diversity, of course, it's enriched design for change tremendously because it meant that context of every country um, became alive. And that means if my partner in Taiwan was this young, spirited 25 year old who just got infected, it meant that her journey with design for change was unique to her. There is not a one size fits all model for design for change. So what over the years has emerged is that uh, um, keeping that spirit alive uh, cannot just be on a volunteer, um, uh, it can't just work on the voluntary spirit. It has to be uh, supported by a conscious, um, organized plan. So even though it's inorganic, the support has now to start becoming more organized. Um, so the needs in some countries, some, some countries might need help uh, for the technical aspects of design for change. Some might just need able-bodied young people uh, taking the story forward. Uh, some might need um, storytellers. Um, so every partner's um, concerns and needs, I believe, can be met beautifully with the STONES program. And um, what STONES uh, can map for these partners is the right profile for the right need. That means the intention and action can be mapped so that the impact can be just exploded. And uh, so uh, I, I believe that what STONES has to offer is, is capacity building. And what Design for Change can offer is, is a great soil for this capacity to set roots in. Um, so partners will benefit from uh, the kind of of um, people that Stones will, uh, would, would send to them. And the fellows will benefit tremendously because they will, they will witness a program that, is, that is, has, has exploded globally and yet how it's locally centered. So they will get together this fantastic opportunity to work locally with a partner and yet see the impact globally. And I think, uh, it's a brilliant map and I think it's fantastic. <laughs> I can't wait to, to see the seeds of it so in different countries and if Design for Change can just be a recipient of this great thing and then participate equally, it's going to be perfect. Oh. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you know, just to be able to send really smart people across the globe and have that uh, year-long uh, internship and mentoring at a different country by some of the most amazing people. Uh, so you'll get a two-month uh, sort of real in immersive experience in San Francisco? Yeah, so in, in Silicon Valley. In Silicon Valley. Valley. The whole area and and then you, you get placed now globally. And then they get a multi, so, multinational yeah. team, multicultural team to go into a particular community where you want to go to work with the schools, a design for change yeah. school mm -hmm. in that uh, in that uh, region, and work for seven months working with the teachers and the students going out and doing uh, these kinds of projects. And at the end of that, uh, you then get a an international certificate education. Certificate, wow. and that certificate then can be a pathway to a career within the Stones uh, community itself. Yeah, uh, 
working up as a team leader, a group leader. That's something really up your alley. In the organization and setting it up and the, the, the ability to, to, to be in a country where you can really... What do you think? I mean, do you think 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds might like this opportunity? I think so. Like, I would like it. Huh? Yeah. Well, here's the good news, Jazz. You don't even have to graduate from college. Yeah. Okay. They don't need... Uh, like a, a UV? Hmm. A UV would be a perfect uh, uh, fit for this. Yeah, yeah we, we believe, for example, uh, as we said, uh, Karen was saying that in, in many cases, even though we're looking at millennials 20 to 30, that your experience has been that as far as maturity, that a, a 23 or 24 year old would be great. But I kind of challenged your mom on this because I said, so let me ask you, do you think there are any students at Riverside, at Riverside who might? <laughs> you just, you know, instead of a gap year, maybe Take this. Yeah. Imagine what a fantastic leadership opportunity that is. Mm -hmm. So instead of a gap year, you can take this and then maybe imagine going to college with this certificate with you. Because guess what? A certificate like this yeah. might be, in your year after high school, uh, might be able to get you into colleges and universities with a fantastic scholarship yeah. that your mom and dad want to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> True that. <laughs> Definitely. And really, in, even to get into the college of your choice, based on that experience, uh, to go to a university that really matches up beautifully with what you're interested in doing. Because the partners for this certificate are really some of the best global minds. I mean, you, you'll get it from, you know, the... Uh, I think th that's what they work. We're working on figuring out who these partners will become. So currently, we're building this okay, so network. Yeah, it's in the problem. So, but we will want to roll out the first batch next year. Yes. The next batch, the first batch rolls out next year. So, effectively, the admission process starts in June or earlier, right? Well, no, we, it, we will start the. We're starting the um, social media and publicity and bringing people to our website. Now. Really, right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Candidates start coming in what from Jan, Feb? Yeah. So we will. We, I think we're we're, we're waiting. Clear clarity on our funding, huh. but uh, as soon as our website is cleaned up a little bit, we'll be taking indications of interest. Mm. And as soon as the as soon as the admissions process is ready to go, we'll have a whole group of people. You know. So it's like a year in another country. Yeah. Imagine you could be in Israel, you could be in Bhutan, you could be in uh, could be Denmark, Denmark, or Spain, or the Canary Islands. So we're looking at uh, from design for change. We're looking at starting off maybe with the five really, um, uh, I would say, active, uh, active partners. Like who would Taiwan, you've got Israel, you've got all these places. Yeah. And uh, I think even Bhutan. Bhutan is fantastic. My God, can you imagine yeah. a year in Bhutan? Yeah. And you will not be alone. Be with that young means young. Yeah. you will be, be with, with around 20 others. That means yeah. you will be not alone.